Nothing does not exist. You heard that right. Even if you took an empty container, devoid of all matter and cooled it to absolute zero, there is still something in the container. That something is called quantum foam and it represents particles blinking into and out of existence. Imagine you have a piece of paper and you draw a small dot with a pen. That dot is quite tiny, right? Now, imagine that dot is a billion times smaller than a speck of dust. That's really, really small. But guess what? Even that incredibly small dot you've imagined is still huge compared to something called quantum foam. Quantum foam is like the tiniest, most delicate dance happening in the fabric of the universe. It's like the flickering of lights on a starry night. But these lights aren't stars. They're the very essence of space itself. Here at Astronovium, we are going in depth, revealing the unanswered questions about these unimaginably smallest fibers of reality. Are these fluctuations truly the essence of reality? Or are they mere echoes of our mathematical models? Let's find out. Have you ever gazed into the frothy remains of a bottle of beer and pondered the fundamental nature of space-time? It turns out that frothy cap on your brew might actually offer a fair analogy for what reality looks like on the tiniest of scales. If it was possible to magnify space-time down as far as possible, space-time according to some of our best theories, is not smooth. It's foamy. And if you had a microscope that was powerful enough to see down to the most basic quantum levels, what you'd see is quantum foam. The idea of quantum foam arises out of Einstein's idea that gravity is caused by the warping and curving of space-time. This conception implies that space-time is a real physical entity that is dynamic. And if so, then it ought to also be subject to quantum physics. In other words, the idea of quantum foam is what we get when we apply quantum physics to the fabric of space-time itself. Think of it like flying over the ocean. Looking out through the window of a plane from above cloud level, the ocean will probably look like a smooth, structureless blue surface. However, if the plane begins to descend, eventually you'll be able to see that the ocean is actually wavy. As you get even lower, it might start to look choppy with white caps. And at lower levels still, you might even make out the foamy bubbles that are generated by the swashing of the ocean waves. To give you a better picture, think about how a calm lake might look on a breezy day. The surface of the lake isn't perfectly still. You see small ripples and waves caused by the wind. Quantum foam is a bit like those ripples but on a scale that's unimaginably smaller than the tiniest grain of sand. It's as if the fabric of space is made up of these teeny tiny vibrations that pop in and out of existence in the blink of an eye. Now, here's the mind-blowing part. These minuscule vibrations are so small that they're even smaller than the smallest things we know, like atoms or even the particles inside atoms. In fact, they're so small that if you tried to compare the size of these vibrations to the size of an atom, it would be like comparing the size of Earth to the size of a single grain of sand. So quantum foam isn't something we can see with our eyes or even with the most powerful microscopes. It's a hidden dance of the universe, a symphony of the tiniest motions happening at a scale that's way beyond our everyday experiences. Here is when the question of nothing arise. What is nothing? The answer might not be what you expect. What if the whole universe is made up of this hypothetical foam? The laws of quantum mechanics are confusing, predicting that particles are also waves and that cats are simultaneously alive and dead. However, one of the most confusing of all quantum principles is called the Heisenberg uncertainty principle which is commonly explained as saying that you cannot simultaneously perfectly measure the location and movement of a subatomic particle. While that is a good representation of the principle, it also says that you cannot measure the energy of anything perfectly and that the shorter the time you measure, the worse your measurement is. Taken to the extreme, if you try to make a measurement in near zero time, your measurement will be infinitely imprecise. These quantum principles have mind-bending consequences for anyone trying to understand the nature of nothing. 
For example, if you try to measure the amount of energy at a location, even if that energy is supposed to be nothing, you still cannot measure zero precisely. Sometimes, when you make the measurement, the expected zero turns out to be non-zero. And this isn't just a measurement problem. It's a feature of reality. For short periods of time, zero is not always zero. When you combine this bizarre fact that zero expected energy can be non-zero when you examine a short enough time period with Einstein's mass energy equivalence, there is an even more bizarre consequence. Einstein's equation says that energy is matter and vice versa. Combined with quantum theory, this means that in a location that is supposedly entirely empty and devoid of energy, space can briefly fluctuate to non-zero energy. And that temporary energy can make matter an antimatter. The idea that space is, at its very foundation, a frothy, chaotic mess has huge ramifications for our understanding of the universe. The quantum foam isn't just theoretical. It is quite real. One demonstration of this is when researchers measure the magnetic properties of subatomic particles like electrons. If the quantum foam isn't real, electrons should be magnets with a certain strength. However, when measurements are made, it turns out that the magnetic strength of electrons is slightly higher, by about 0.1. When the effect due to quantum foam is taken into account, theory and measurement agree perfectly, to 12 digits of accuracy. Another demonstration of the quantum foam comes courtesy of the Casimir effect, named after Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir. The effect goes something like this. Take two metal plates and put them very near one another in a perfect vacuum, separated by a tiny fraction of a millimeter. If the quantum foam idea is right, then the vacuum surrounding the plates is filled with an unseen flurry of subatomic particles blinking into and out of existence. These particles have a range of energies, with the most likely energy being very small, but occasionally higher energies appear. This is where more familiar quantum effects come into play, because classical quantum theory says that particles are both particles and waves, and waves have wavelengths. Outside the tiny gap, all waves can fit without restriction. However, inside the gap, only waves that are shorter than the gap can exist. Long waves simply cannot fit. Thus, outside the gap, there are waves of all wavelengths, while inside the gap, there are only short wavelengths. This basically means that there are more kinds of particles outside than inside, and the effect is that there is a net pressure inward. Thus, if the quantum foam is real, the plates will be pushed together. So, nothing is something after all. Now, let's look at an interesting theory, which makes us question all the current ideas of black holes. This theory says that quantum fluctuations can make matter and antimatter particles near a black hole's event horizon, with one falling into the black hole and the other escaping as Hawking radiation. This phenomenon suggests that black holes can emit radiation and gradually lose mass over time. This poses profound questions. Does this radiation carry away information about what was swallowed by the black hole? Does it challenge the very notion of an irreversible event horizon? This theory connecting quantum foam and black holes lead us into the heart of one of physics' greatest puzzles, the information paradox. The information paradox is a puzzle that appears when the predictions of quantum mechanics and general relativity are combined. The theory of general relativity predicts the existence of black holes that are regions of space-time from which nothing, not even light, can escape. According to the quantum foam theory, the information paradox can be debunked. From the tiniest ripples of space-time to the cosmic mysteries that black holes harbor, we've explored the fascinating interactions between the quantum world and the colossal forces of the universe. If you've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of the cosmos with us, don't miss out on more exciting explorations. Be sure to hit the like button if you found this journey as amazing as we did. And if you're hungry for more cosmic wonders, hit that subscribe button to join the Astronovium community. Stay tuned for more mind-expanding adventures through the universe's most intriguing enigmas.